Alright, so as I'm sure you guys will realise, you need to do an awful lot of levelling up with weapons in Modern Warfare. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys how to do it easily. So the max weapon level varies from weapon to weapon. I think the most is about level 70 on assault rifles, slightly less for other weapons. But without a doubt, there is a lot of grinding involved. So I'm going to talk about what actually earns you weapon XP, and then we'll talk about all the tips I've got for you guys. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss anything. And if you find it useful, feel free to leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you like we see, make sure you're subscribing with post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming Modern Warfare videos. So weapon XP can be earned from getting kills in the game with your specific weapon that you're trying to level up. But an important thing to know is that assists also count. So they'll give you 25 XP per assist and kills will normally get you 100 XP per kill in multiplayer. Now I did test out whether getting medals and things like that would count towards getting additional XP and also getting the camo challenge done whether that counted. To the best of my knowledge you don't get any additional XP. There are some other factors at play though because what you guys notice a lot is that when you'll level up your weapon sometimes you'll notice that it will have an odd number of XP. So for now we know the main thing is that kills and assists will get you more weapon XP. So therefore the obvious solution is to get more kills. So the best game modes I found for this are Hardcore Domination, Hardcore Kill Confirmed, Hardcore Headquarters, Free For All and also Ground War. To be honest a lot of people like Ground War, it can get them a lot of kills, I find it much slower paced but if you like Ground War definitely head into that, it'll be very good for getting kills. But to be honest my favourites are Free For All and then some of the Hardcore modes, particularly Hardcore Domination and this is because Free For All you've got lots of enemies and so you've got more chances to get more kills. You're normally playing on the smaller maps so it's easy to get those kills as well and then for hardcore enemies have less health so again it's easier to kill them and also when it's objectives like domination you've got enemies flocking to certain points and as we'll talk about later on that is very good for getting weapon xp so you're going to be wanting to join maps with close quarter combat engagement so this is where you've got sort of high flow of enemies in a smaller space and these would generally be parts of the maps like piccadilly gun runner hackney yard saint petrograd possibly ramaza as well my special tips would be to first of all try and get into the action as much as possible so you want to be doing whatever you can to get more kills this is because obviously if you get more kills you get more xp which will level up your weapon faster so by this what i mean is that if there's an objective you're going to want to go towards that because enemies will be drawn to that if there's some kind of action going down the map and you can imagine that there'll be more enemies in a certain part you definitely want to be trying to push yourself towards that as much as possible but unfortunately the pace of this game is much slower so do be aware of that don't go in too much and get yourself killed all the time that's not what you want but you also don't want to be just sitting in the corner at the back of the map you want to be getting right in there into the action secondly i'd say make sure you're using your personal radar and uav properly we'll talk about that later on in terms of the kill tricks and then if you're playing non-hardcore modes then also check the minimap and the compass so basically personal radar uav minimap and compass check all those to make sure you can see where the enemies are you want to be again pushing yourself towards those enemies so if you're checking all these things and you're listening for enemy call outs and footsteps you're going to be able to find enemies a lot easier and therefore you're going to be getting more kills the next thing i would say is to make sure you're pre-aiming and possibly pre-firing if you know there's an enemy there when you go around corners this is because if you do this you're more likely to win the gunfight than the enemy because you are prepared and it just makes it so that overall you'll get more kills and at the same time make sure that you reload at a sensible time don't be doing it in the middle of a gunfight or out in the open do it behind cover or when you've got a good chance just don't do it at stupid times and be very aware of that the next thing i'd say is that whichever weapon you want to be using up you need to use it as much as possible so don't go spreading yourself out across loads of different weapons because there are loads of weapon levels in this game and you've got to dedicate a lot of time to one weapon to level it up so in multiplayer try and stick with one weapon at a time it makes it much quicker and then if you go ahead and play spec ops and survival by all means feel free to use that weapon to level up in there as well because that will help a bit so especially if you want to go and play those modes then do that but just be aware that spec ops and survival the weapon xp earn rate is much much lower than multiplayer i believe it's somewhere around 5 xp per ai kill in spec ops or survival so basically 20 times less xp than in multiplayer you might as well just come off that and get straight into multiplayer unless you're specifically wanting to play spec ops in which case by all means use that weapon it will help a bit but don't have unrealistic expectations so finally for the special tips before we go on to the best class setup i'm just going to say that make sure you're looking out for double weapon xp weekends now these we don't know how often they'll be but there was a quick test session for a few hours last week and they didn't really say anything about it but obviously that means that they're going to be using them more often so definitely 
keep an eye out for that on Twitter. I'll make sure that if there's a double weapon XP weekend coming up, that you definitely use it. It will make it much, much quicker to get through all of these different weapon levels. So in terms of the setup for the attachments, it depends what weapon you're using. So I'm going to be giving some example attachments. You're going to want to put on, for example, a longer barrel, and this is going to increase your damage range and increase your recoil control. If the iron sight isn't good, then it's obviously good to put on a reflex sight as well. I went for the Viper one, but you can go for any. If your weapon reloads quite slowly and it's putting you in danger of dying then obviously make sure you're putting on sleight of hand as a perk in the weapon attachments and that's just so that you can reload faster and get back into the action quicker i'll also say that if you're running out of bullets quickly definitely put on some larger magazines and then normally if your weapon kicks up a lot then you're going to be wanting to use a foregrip in this particular case i use the operator foregrip because it increases recoil control but obviously it depends on what weapon you're using so try and apply those general tips to your specific weapon to make sure you're focusing on recoil control aiming down sight speed damage range speed of reload that kind of thing the secondary doesn't really matter but in terms of perks i've decided to put on scavenger this is a good one because of you can pick up more ammo so the more ammo you can get the more kills you can potentially get so definitely this is a good perk in perk two i've gone for hardline this just makes kill streaks one point cheaper which means that you can be able to earn your kill streaks which we'll talk about in a second quicker so you can find more enemies and kill them in perk three i've gone for spotter so you can see enemy equipment field upgrades and kill streaks through walls it just means that you'll be dying less from the these things which will help but if you don't like that i also like the tracker perk because it allows you to see enemy footsteps to follow them about and to get more kills for the lethal it doesn't really matter what you put on and then for the tactical i like to put on the snapshot grenade just because if you think there's an enemy around a corner you can chuck this bad boy in see where they are and then ambush them and get the kill because they won't be expecting you. In terms of the kill streaks, I've gone for personal radar and UAV because these are both non-lethal score streaks. They don't take away from your main weapon XP and they'll help you see enemies via the radar, which means you're gonna be more likely to get the edge and get the win on them. So in terms of the field upgrades, I've gone for munitions box. Again, it gives you more ammo just so that you can have more rounds. And again, it helps you to stay alive longer and get more kills. But if you don't like this, you can also put on dead silence. It means that enemies won't hear your footsteps and so it's easier to kind of sneak up on people and run about the map without being sound hoard. If you guys have got any other tips, then let me know down below in the comment section. And if you found the video useful, be sure to subscribe with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming Modern Warfare videos. But thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.